Hello, everyone. It looks like we are live. Welcome to our Hurley's Hand Dyed Podcast. It is Saturday night, and we are your hosts, Amber from Amber's Craft Place on Etsy, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, and... I am Donna from Crystal Skies Hand Dyed on Etsy, Instagram, and Facebook, and Crystal Skies Handmade on Instagram and Etsy. <laughs> And we already have some people here. Welcome to our Floozy Raid. Right. Hey, guys. It's it's so over. If you're Hi. new, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're new, uh, thank you. Thank you for coming over. We uh, yeah. we are a little yeah. random. We do things a little random. So That's very <laughs> true. King Hurley's hand died. <laughs> so, so, Let's yeah. see. so far, people who have commented, welcome to Crafty Annie, Mary King, Jill, Fiber Floozy Crafts. Ola Joe, the crocheting sailor, Fluffy Boots Crochet, and Christiana. Welcome to everyone. Hi. I'm so excited to have so many people here commenting already. That's so nice. Hey. And if you are new, uh, because of the split screen, I don't see the comments. So because I can't. Because mom doesn't know how. I don't know how. I'm One of these days, when Amber and Dave come and visit this summer, I'm going to have her show me how to do that. And then a few other things I need to have her show me. I need to make a list. <laughs> so you, I don't, you, know, you know, our time will be a precious commodity when we're there. Or uh -huh. if we're there. <laughs> when you and the dog come and uh, Dave. <laughs> I don't know. Planning our, you know, planning our summer. We're not really doing much of that planning yet. <laughs> no, because you probably don't know about the summer thing yet, do you? If you get to No, teach I don't know yet if I'm going to be doing summer school. Well, I mean, I'm, sh I'm actually, I know I will. I know I will. Now that I'm officially licensed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, tell everybody you got your license in the mail. Yeah. All that good it's stuff. It's not in the mail. I got it in my email. Hmm. They email it to us. Oh, okay. Yeah, so so those of you who are new here, I am a high school math teacher. Um, I started my teaching journey, though, with an elementary education degree, teaching fifth grade. Last year, I taught seventh grade math. And then I got a new job this year um, teaching high school math. And I've been working my butt off to get my license updated to high school. Um, so finally I had to take two different praxis tests, which are each about $150. And I passed the second one. Last time we were on, I told you guys I passed it by the skin of my teeth. I turned it in, made sure it was attached to my license. And I had my license four days later, which was so fast. I did not expect that. Um, right. But I had been emailing back and forth with the lady who does licenses. There's only like two people who do licenses. And I, I think she knew I was chomping at the bit to get it through. And so she emailed me the second it was done. She's like, your license has been issued. And I was like, yay. So now I have a, I actually have a pre-K through 12 specialty license with an emphasis in math or specialty in math. So I can teach and, math at any age. And she's also in school to get her master's. She's yes. also going for her master's, so in mathematics, secondary education. Right. So she's a busy little girl. Plus later on, well, you can actually, well, what's been going on with your week this day, this week? Don't forget the rusty story. I know. I know. I was going to actually say, if you don't like stories that involve blood, this is your trigger warning. <laughs> um, It's going to take me a couple minutes to talk about this. So if you want to like even just turn the volume off for a couple minutes and then come back in case some people don't like to hearing about things that are gross. So just warning you of, uh, ahead of time. So Thursday night, I don't know why it happened Thursday and not Friday. Friday would have been better, but Thursday night, <laughs> I decided I was going to try to clip Rusty's back claws um, because I can hear them in the carpet when he walks. And I was like, oh, he's going to get caught or he's going to rip up carpet, you know? So I'm like, really quickly, he doesn't like the clippers anyway. He just doesn't like them. So I was like, well, we were trying to do it. Dave and I were working together and I got one done. I got, I got two done on one foot and I was like, I'm not going to do the other two on that foot. Cause they're not that, they're not as long. I just, the two middle ones get super long. The outside ones don't seem to grow as fast. Well, you so, might chew them off. What? The dogs do chew them. He might chew those two. Oh, I've well, never seen him chew his claws. Oh, okay. Okay. Not him. Um, okay. Katya used to sharpen her claws. I remember that. My cat. Um, anyway. So, Oh, oh, Christiana said they can mark in chat when the story is over. Okay, so I get to his other foot and I do one claw and it's okay. I do the other claw and 
he wasn't really happy. So I'm like, we'll be done for the night. Okay, not a big deal. And so I walk over and get him some treats because we have some of the, the calming treats that we give to help him sleep at night now. We don't give him the day anymore. We give him at night and he still has enough in his system that he can make it through the day without us. So I was like, I walk it over and he sat next to me in the kitchen and I look down and there is a puddle of blood around his foot. I mean, not just a little, you guys. Rusty's a big dog. He's like probably almost 90 pounds now. He's a big dog. And oh my gosh, there was blood everywhere. And then I started freaking out. So he started freaking out. I'm trying to catch him so he can stop, like try to, you know, get paper towels on him and he's freaking out and it's just bleeding more. It's everywhere. And so finally we're like, okay, let's, let's go put him outside. Just put him outside so we can clean up this mess and then we can worry about his foot. Um, I, I sent mom these pictures, but, um, our back porch looked like a murder happened. <laughs> Dave washed it uh, after school yesterday with the oh, hydrogen, a lot better and we got some hydrogen peroxide to try to help get rid of some of the thing but oh my gosh then you know like what we're like well what can we do and I have coband somewhere I have like the little tiny coband which is like it's a wrap that sticks to itself we could not find it anywhere so Rusty's outside freaking out because he can't come in. And because he's freaking out, his blood is pumping faster and faster and faster and he's bleeding more. And so finally we get him inside and we put him into his crate and Dave goes to the store to get some of the stuff that will stop the bleeding. And we got wrap for him and everything. And like, I was in the bedroom with him, like while Dave went, he ended up going to Walmart, not Walgreens, because he thought he might be able to get um, the carpet cleaning solution there too. Cause we have like the carpet cleaner. Oh. So he got yeah. that all at once. But he got back and finally we were able to get the the stuff on his toe, which actually has like a numbing agent in it, which I think had made him, it, he stopped freaking out almost instantly after putting that on, which was really good. And then we got a bandage on it, like the, a gauze on it. And then we wrapped it with the co-band and he slept with the co-band on all night, but oh my gosh, like we've not, I've never had a dog, not like this, you know, and I've never had to clip a dog's nails. Katya and Molly, like, they would freak out. But, I mean, you can hold them pretty still. He is a yeah. big dog. So, when he tries to pull away, a lot happens. And I'm wondering if he tried to pull away. I don't, because I don't remember the last clipping of that claw. If that maybe I got him because he was trying to pull away or move. Or moved but, it. Um, he went forward right when you were clipping and you got it. Mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah. And um, Christiana says she always starts with the dew claws when she does them at work. And then use a specific angle for the rest. Um, because some of them have dark toenails. Um, he thankfully doesn't have dark nails, but I could not see that vein, even yes. though his nails are clear. Well, yeah. you know, as clear as dog's nails can get. Oh. Yeah. But you know, yeah. Pearl has my cat, my hairless cat. She, mm -hmm. in her back claws, paws, mm -hmm. she has the long veins. And boy, I have clipped her more than once. And, mm -hmm. but she's just a little cat and she doesn't bleed now. Yeah, like, I think I did it once with Katya where it was a little long and there was maybe a drop of blood. Yeah. But, oh. Yeah. So that was my that was my Thursday night. Um. So finally, like that was like eight fifteen. We usually head to bed between eight and eight thirty because we want to be asleep by ten. You know, Dave didn't get back from Walmart till like nine forty five, and then we're wrapping up the dog. And you know, he got he jumped up on the bed in his freak out and got blood on our blankets. So we had to strip the bed and just. Uh, um, a guy I work with said he pays his vet in town 20 bucks to do their dog's nails. Yeah. Um, I was going to say a lot fine. of people do because they, dogs freak out, at least at the vet's office, they can restrain them. I think I'm, I'm sure they have something, but I was going to tell you, I was going to ask you, I, actually, I was going to go online and see, I wonder, you know, to calm Rusty down at night I, or even a day, I wonder if you can give them chamomile tea. If he'd, he'd probably drink it. If you put a little candy. No, I don't know. Um, the chews we give him have hemp in it and they have, um, I think they have like lavender and they might even have chamomile in them. Okay. I mean, I just give so him three to four know. chews and they're, they're just calming chews. Oh, okay. And, good. They're not super expensive. Yeah. I didn't, I, I didn't even know you had those. So until mm -hmm. you mentioned them tonight. So yeah, anything that, you know. Mm -hmm. And during, during spring break, we started giving to the, them to him at night instead of during the day so uh -huh. that he could settle down when he came in uh, to bed at night. Um, because sometimes he just, he comes in and he will, he will turn in a circle on our bed and be crazy. And like he suddenly thinks it's playtime. 
So about half an hour before we go to bed, I just give him treats. And right. by the time we get in there, he usually just, he may play a little tiny bit, but within 15 minutes, his head's down and he's going to sleep with us. And he's. Oh, you're, you're yeah. letting him sleep on your bed. You're not putting him in that carrot cage anymore. Well, if he's being a jerk. <laughs> yes. I almost said if he's being a Richard, um, I put him into the crate. And sometimes, too, he'll get crazy and he's so tired. He doesn't know he's tired. And we put him in the crate and he just lays right down and falls asleep. We had to do that last night. And around 1.30 or 2, he did wake up and want out, but I had to go to the bathroom. So Dave took him out. But then he came on the bed and slept the rest of the night on the bed and he was fine. Okay. He just has trouble settling down sometimes, being a well, Don't we all? Well, some people I mean, just... We take time on PM. Dave and I, I take, take time on PM every night. I take melatonin. And it's not even working. So I mean, um, I, I saw I saw a video this week that said mm -hmm. less is more with melatonin. So if you mm. try like 0.5 milligrams instead of like one or two milligrams, it might work better. Well, I was on five five milligrams, and that's the lowest they have. And I went up to ten milligrams mm -hmm. just this last time, and I still about four in the morning take another one or two, mm -hmm. but I wake up. Lately, every single hour on the hour. Yeah. One, I mean, I can time myself. I can look over and I can not even look and go, it must be one thirty. And yep, one thirty. So, I mean, I might have to, I, I think I did better when I was ta drinking the Rubita, Ru Rubita, Rubito, the cinnamon. The Rubio's tea? Rubio's tea. I think that, because chamomile meal never seemed to work either. So, if any yeah. of you any ideas about sleeping once in a while i used to get when i get restless legs which i get the restless legs once in a while. i haven't had those for a while not on wood but i used to get up in the middle of the night and have hot chocolate and that seemed to calm my legs isn't that weird so chocolate yeah. chocolate's supposed to be like caffeine keep you awake so yeah but you know i think there's lots of different things that have come out i mean it's not a lot of caffeine yeah, not a well, lot. Of I mean, and everybody's different. Just like Benadryl, most people can take Benadryl. It makes them woozy or you know tired. Me, it wires. Nyquil, I am wired. I can feel the Nyquil, the heat go down in my body. I mean, I actually can feel it, and I'm wide uh, awake. It's because oh. you have undiagnosed ADHD. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that... calms you. Yeah, yeah. That is a huge <laughs> symptom of ADHD. Yeah, because Jeffrey used to be able to drink caffeine at night. Well, I used to drink Pepsis at mm -hmm. night and me never too. had any problems. Mm -hmm. It doesn't keep me up. Yeah. So maybe I'll have to start doing that again. But, wow. you know, it's yeah. like we are weird people. So well, anyway. I mean, everybody's bodies are different. Our chemicals work different. I just need to look at something really fast. Just make sure I have no. Oh, are you over there? Well, I don't have any whips today, you guys. I didn't even work on my diamond painting at all for the last two weeks. I didn't even work down. I mean, it's over. Oh, shame but... like a mother of all. Yeah, I have two. <laughs> show you, show you my because I got that new pattern for dishcloths, and mm -hmm. I love it, and it makes a bigger dishcloth. My other ones, the the dishy. Now you know it all depends on the worsted weight yarn you use. The uh -huh. dishies, I would use the H's on and my, they were six between, I used the exact same 20 stitches across and they'd be between six and seven inches. But if I use like the sugar and cream or the other cream, what's the other cream one? They would between, they would the be seven. Cream or, yeah. Peaches and cream. Peaches and cream. Yeah. They'd be between seven and eight. And these were the same dishcloths. I mean, the same um, needle. Mm -hmm. Well, um, so I I got this other stuff. Yeah, I, I don't. It's I can't remember what it's called. But anyway, um, I'm using. Is it the Bernat stuff? Because Bernat sometimes has cotton. No, this is a different brand. This was from Joann's. It was one of the ones they're getting rid of, or it said they're discontinued. Big Twist cotton. Oh, okay. And um, I love the feel of it. It's real. What do they call it? A real splitty. But mm -hmm. I'm using an eye. I, I I found a new pattern. She says go up a hook if you're uh if you're a tight knitter, which I am. Then I I made it wider. I decided I'm these are eight by nine inches. 
They're a nice okay. size. I showed them last time, but mm -hmm. I have really been crocheting <laughs> them. This is my stack of them. Oh, nice. So far, I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and one on the way in there. Seven different colors. I'm not even putting these on till April because I thought they'd make a wonderful Mother's Day gift. And I don't, I, I showed the pattern last time, but can, I call it a starburst. It's actually called a tr Trinity Stitch. Okay. But yeah, but see, it makes a thicker and these are bigger. These would even be nice for washcloths. It kind of reminds me of when you look down at a lily that's bloomed, like to look down from the top. I wonder if that's yeah. why it's called the Trinity Stitch. Yeah, is a lily a trinity? Well, no, I mean, because like lilies are tied in with Easter and I don't oh, know. Maybe, yeah. I don't know. I'm just making but stuff up. Nice. But... It reminds me of a starburst. Because mm -hmm. it kind of, yeah, and it's not, it, it's got the little round holes, but not a lot of holes. But it would make a beautiful um, um, trivet, blanket, or anything. Oh. But I did want to tell you, Amber and I, got in the mail this week we each purchased some more omni or omni yes. books hold on one second we're we're going really fast and there's some comments i want to catch up on okay oh, catch up on you're just, we're just going 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 okay really I quick. Know. i'm wound uh, up <laughs> i was uh, watching jill <laughs> um laurie's on by the way too she and so is aunt shell um oh. laurie's gonna be lurking she says she's on her planner and aunt shell says it's really snowing and blowing there um and hold on Sorry, um, you might be able to find some three milligram melatonins at dollar store. Instead of oh, the five okay. milligram, you might be able to find three milligrams there. Okay. Um, magnesium, especially magnesium glyconate, will help with the restless legs. Restless legs. Yeah. Well, your dad used. Yeah, your dad used to take quinine. Well, that was more for when you get leg cramps, mm -hmm. the quinine pills. But I like um, um Gatorade. It's got the electrolytes in it that helps. Oh, yeah. Lights, yes. Yeah. And Jeff made me start drinking that a little while ago. But anyway, go ahead. All right. Good night, Ola Joe. Thank you for joining us for a little bit. So much. Listening to our craziness. I wanted to show something because we talked about whips and stuff. Oh, yeah. Let's what we whip. bought. Well, I know, but I wanted to say something about one of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> what do you want to say? Well, one of the hooks that I got, this beautiful hook, and mm -hmm. it is pretty. And it's an eye, mm -hmm. but compared to my furls eyes, it mm -hmm. actually crocheted the dishcloth. I'm using that. Was same. it bigger? Mm -hmm. Oh, can you see? Is the eye the peach, or is the new one the peach one? Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a little bit. But it's enough that when I went to make the third dishcloth, I could only get an eight by eight. I couldn't get an eight by nine out of it. So oh. I go on. So I went back to the furrows, the other side, that I could at least get three out of, you know, because yeah. regularly I would have got four. But I think it's marked wrong. I don't think it's an I. I think it must be a J. Maybe. Maybe yeah. an I and a half. Mm -hmm. <laughs> go ahead. I want to see your whip. No. Um, and okay, Christiana says chocolate milk has the same electrolytes as Gatorade, and that's why the hot chocolate chocolate help with calming your legs to sleep oh okay nice thank you so i have to say that okay so i told mom this before we started so i'm going to tell them i have four things lined up in april for markets um so i'm glad i've been crocheting as much as i have and i really hope that these sell as dave said i hope you're not just wasting your time on those things um <laughs> <'cause laughs> well, I even, on what price you use <laughs> i made another holder i had to make another holder because i can't fit and i have eight other holders that are full of these. Okay. So this is my, it's, uh, I have to, I have to make it in two pieces. Okay. So yeah. glued together and taped together right now with the glue. Um, I'll take that off tomorrow. So I make sure that it's full, but if you, you, if you were new here, I have been crocheting scrunchies. Aren't these pretty? Aren't these colors beautiful? This is that orange one. one. That orange one. That's yeah. almost like the orange of this. It's, it's is it like similar. a, well, it's, it's orange with green. Oh, it's got oh, it's a law, it's a, a round bolt. I mean, a, a thing that one that yes. goes from orange to green to what it what did you call it? Yeah, that? they're variegated. Variegated. 
It is hair scrunchy season. That's true. Christiana said it's hair scrunchy season. They'll sell. Oh, it is. It's always hair scrunchy season for me. I always wear it. I mean, and some of these are so, with the way the variegation happened, they only have like a splotch of a different color on them. <laughs> That's cute. They're really, really pretty. Like on like a messy bun, just that little, you know, uh -huh. little splotch of orange. But yeah, I have been making these like crazy because I can make one in 45 minutes to an hour. And I actually, at school, I sometimes stand in my doorway as kids are coming in and crochet, as kids are coming into my classroom, because I can get a little bit done in oh, that five yeah. minute in between. That's not a whip, though. That's a... No, this a is my finished bucket. object. Okay. But um, I have whip. I have some that have the string hanging on them still that I have oh, to okay. pull in. I've got like eight of those. I hate... That's my least favorite part is sewing. I, say, I have started what I do these. I, I weave in right away. Because these ones, the way they're made, I have a tail on each end. Mm -hmm. I have started, I thought, because that's like, you know, you put that off and then all of a sudden you have 15 to do and you just go. Well, thankfully with these, I only ever have one because I start around yes. my, my hair tie and I actually crochet over the hair tie. Yes. In the middle. Yeah, that's how the other ones I used to do because I put a border on them. But these mm -hmm. I don't have to put a border on. So, yeah. yeah. So, anyway. Oh, that's someone else new. Freehandly made AU. Oh, welcome. Sorry. How oh, are you? I bet. AU? AU? I don't know. Well, it's A with a thingy over it and U with a thingy over it. Oh. Okay. That's, okay, that's niece. Niece or niecey. Hello. Welcome. Everyone knows her. Oh, okay. Hi. She, Hi. Yeah, she, did. she said came over from Fiber Floozy. So, yeah. welcome. Well, yeah, okay. that's what I did, well, but I have been using my yarn bowl too. Me too. I have too. My, when I get them, because they come in the cakes, so and when they get to a certain point, uh -huh. I do them right. I have three yarn bowls. I must, because I bought one, and I must have gotten two when we used to do the the, the trades, huh? The, tra the exchange, mm -hmm. whatever you call, them, which someday we might start again when you're out of school. Yeah, <laughs> school. I have the bucket of giveaways too. I know um, still that we can yeah. use. Yeah. We're going to start doing them giveaways too. Yes. Yeah. So anyway. All right. So do we uh, want to talk about what we got in the mail and then. Yeah. Let's well, do you want to do your FOs or not? Show your cute oh. little newbies, your newbies. Oh, my new 3D printed <laughs> items. Your newbies. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> these both are from the same designer. So he releases like four to five designs a month, um, depending on the month. And this one, I was so, I was waiting for this one because I've had people asking for stegosauruses forever. So this is my stegosaurus that I have done. I'm actually doing one multicolored right now because Dave had someone at school order one that's blue and white, mm. but the multicolor prints take, takes like 20 hours for one of these. And these take up the whole plate because they print flat like that. Oh, but right. Isn't he cute? Yeah, and he does. has a version with eyeballs too. I can print him with eyeballs if I want. Does his mouth open? No, no, okay. no well, the dinosaurs the mouths don't open. Some of our dragons don't the mouths open and some don't. The dragons? Their yeah. mouths don't open. No, no opens. Okay. No. Um what do we have that oh the shark's mouths open because the mouse print is a separate. Oh, and your dinosaurs. The T Rex, the funny T Rex. The T Rex, -Rex does too. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So I, I had been waiting for this design. He did a sneak peek of it um, like a week before he released it. And I'm like, oh, I cannot wait to print that. So that is my Stegosaurus. Oh, and so he I'll be doing nice. more of those. And okay, so I don't know. If, do any of you know the drama of the Ray? Have you heard about the Ray that is in isolation that's pregnant? That no. has to live with another Ray forever? Um, so she's pregnant. And there's all these things out there saying that, oh, she got pregnant by a shark, but she didn't. Um, it's a thing that rays do. They can, they can they reproduce don't... without. Just like this. What is it that does that? Jellyfish? Self-produce? have Maybe. Both... I'm not sure. But yeah, so it's, it's, I've been thinking about rays because I heard about that. Okay. And um, Flexi Factory also released some rays. So this one is a single color one that I did actually with dual color filament that's black and gold. So it's pretty. That's the first one I printed. Okay. Yep, pretty. Then I painted them in my slicer. So let me get the right, the first two I did first because I changed something after I did the first two. 
So this is the first one. He is gold and turquoise. The turquoise is not very, it's not showing up as turquoise as it is. But... Purple, lavender. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's turquoise, but I did, I did their eyes painted wrong. So you can see he has um, black irises and the pupil is turquoise. <laughs> okay. so I did it backwards. <laughs> Same with this guy who's purple okay. and brown. brown. What is Looks brown? It looks like he's op he's looking up. Yes, because of the way I did that. Mm -hmm. So there's this guy, he's purple and brown. Then I, I realized what I did and I fixed it. So these next three were actually made with the same three filaments, but they are multicolored filaments that change as they go. So they all three look different than each other. And the purple and the turquoise are both multicolored. So this guy looks pretty solid purple and turquoise. Then we get to the next one where the color started to shift and you can see his bottom half is actually different. It's oh yeah, and lavender blue. and purple. Mm -hmm. And then there is this guy who is also, the bottom of him is more of the dark turquoise, but then mm -hmm. he gets to the light blue on top. So. Oh, they're fun. And then one more. I did one more that was, that was not with those same colors. I just wanted to do a green and a, a bright blue. So there's that guy. So those are my new things. Um, but because I'm going to be doing the four markets, I don't know when I'm going to put these guys on my shop, my Etsy shop. Um, if you message me, we can do some something that way. Um, but because of the markets, I'm trying to make sure I have enough because I'm going to be doing four weekends in a row. And I don't know what's going to sell out and what I'm going to, you know, need to quickly right. make more of. Yeah. So, right. Right. Yeah. So I'm excited too, apparently, because I've talked really fast during that whole thing. I know you did. Now can we do our omnis? What was that? Now can we do our omnis? Yes, omnis. Remember, we discovered it's not omni; it's omni. O m m i. Right, omni. Okay, I got three new ones this week because I'm trying to have six of each color. I mean, six of each um, G through K. I have G through Ks. G through so. K. This is my orange one, orange, and it was supposed to be orange and brown, but it looks more like orange and white. And this is a G. Is that the same as this one? Uh -huh. Is that orange? Uh-huh. Yours it's looks more orange. red to me. Yeah, mine's more of a deeper red, a deeper yeah. one. Isn't that cute? Okay. Yeah. Because that one's mine. And our white ones. You've got a white one, too, and I got a white and one. My white one is a five millimeter. I got an H. And I got a G, what did I get? A G, uh, H. Mine's an H too. Oh, I don't know if you noticed this. When you hold it up to the light, the bottom half mm -hmm. is pink. You can see the opalescent on the bottom half. The top half of mine is pink. If you I saw that. Hold it up yeah. to the light. No, the top half looks pink because the light's in front of you. Hold it up like this mm -hmm. to the light. Hold, the, hold it up and look at it in front of the light. You see the pink on the bottom? Oh, yeah. Opalescent. Oh, yeah, you guys. Yeah. And then the one that I was telling you about, the, the size is wrong. I even called Amber when I first got it, didn't I, remember? Mm -hmm. I said, it looks bigger. Mm -hmm. The tip looks bigger. That, and the neck is fatter than the furls yeah. I have. But, yeah. But I, you know, I got it on, on Amazon. I could return it. But you I could, just yeah. think I'll think about it as a J. <laughs> It's a 5.5. I oh, says so right on the hook. <laughs> Either that or Frills is wrong. <laughs> so those are my three. I, have I mean, you could always get a gauger and get the holes and put the hole over the tip and see what it registers as. Oh, yeah. I used to have a gauger. I'm like, I have one somewhere that's shaped like an elephant. It's in one oh, of yeah. my... Oh, yeah. I got it for you. Christy I got did. it. Yeah. One year. Yeah. Yeah. So I have that anyway, what, what, what other ones did you get? Because you got a bunch. She she liked them when she got them in the mail from somebody. She got a pink. What it's size? Ooh, this is pink. a four millimeter G. Okay. Guys, do you like my new nails, by the way? You can really see them here. I yeah. Nice. Her Easter nails. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, Christiana says that, that the iridescent one is gorgeous. It is. I showed you guys that one. This one didn't I didn't it. buy this one. This one also came from someone. I don't know who though. 
It was a oh, present. Pretty. I don't remember seeing that blue. And that's another Omni? Omni? It is another Omni. Omni. Yeah. And it's an H. It's a five millimeter H. And I've been using this one in my, this is the one that stays in here for when I'm doing homework. Oh, okay. <laughs> you it's my, uh, my bucket. And then I have the same one you do. And then I got these two. The pink sparkle. I have that one. The rainbow one. Well, I don't have the rainbow sparkle. I yeah. have the rainbow from Furls, okay. which has sparkles. Those are pretty. And then I have, those are all my acrylic ones. And then I got some wooden ones. Now, did you buy a wood one? I did. I showed you it. I showed you the picture. I showed yeah, you. Yeah, that's right. That dark, dark one. Yeah. Well, yes. And the one with orange. Um, One of these is a divot shilp. Um, hi, Matt. Divot. Welcome. Okay. So, but I wanted to show you this because it is a, this is a 5.5. And this is a 5.5. Okay. But the top is the same. Okay. Yeah. They the just top it is bottom. The Are they both divots? divots? No, no, this one is an Ami. This is the only divot show I got. And that one's divot. Yeah. yeah. I have a black and white divot one. And okay. yeah, it's a little thinner. It is thinner. And it's a purple heartwood. So this one is purple heartwood, which um, when David, when we were turning pens, purple heartwood yeah, is my favorite ones to turn with. Yes. It's so and pretty. I got an ebony one. This is these the last two are also Ami. That's the only divot. Um, this ebony one is a five millimeter as well. Oh, you got a lot of five millimeters. Mm-hmm. Well, I that's because H is your yeah. Oh, H and then this is what I'm crocheting these with. I mean, I figure, you know, I can have them in a couple different bags. And then yep. this one is an I. This is the other one. See, it's got okay. the orange and, middle. Yeah. And I looked at that with mm -hmm. the blue in the middle. Mm -hmm. it, and they I have like also one. With white in the middle, I think that's the other one. I think they have white, blue, yes. and orange. Yes. Yeah. But I didn't know if I'd like the, isn't it lighter? Uh, I do well, have two wooden ones from Furls that the striped ones, and they're lighter. And when my hand gets tired, I can use those and they're not as heavy on my hand, but, but, you know. Not a lot lighter. I mean, then I might go ahead and wait, order the. Let me do this scientifically. I have a scale. Oh, yes. I have okay. a scale. Okay, so I'm gonna weigh the Ami one, both five in, millimeter, the same shape. In same in the gram, gram same shape. In um, gram? Yeah, I'm changing it. Hold on. Okay. Kilograms, grams. Okay. The the blue one is 22 grams. Okay. This guy, 19 grams. Only three grams lighter. Let's right. try the ebony one. Yeah, That's do the bag. It feels heavy though. Ebony is also 19. So the yeah, two ones are 19. Denser. Yeah, it might be a denser wood. Don't you have another wood? Oh no, you don't have another. Well, I have wood the one. purple heart wood one that's a 5.5, .5, and that's going to be lighter because it's skinnier. That's only 11 grams. That's wow. pretty light. But I mean, it's a lot skinnier than this guy, and this guy is going to be more. I bet this is going to be about 27. Is that an H? 27, I was right on. Sorry, that was loud. Oh. <laughs> is that an H? It's an I. It's a 5.5 okay, okay. millimeter. Um, okay. My eyes. <laughs> like, I was randomly guessing. I'm like, hmm, it feels uh, that much heavier. Yeah. So, anyway, sorry. Got to change back to the right unit for when I'm weighing my packages. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I just happen to have a scale I did. Oh, no, yours is different. I got what? mine from Amazon too. You got your what? My scale from Amazon. Also. Oh. I have one somewhere that I got in the dumpster. I got a pink one somewhere when oh. I was when I was dumpster diving from Staples. Back in the day. <laughs> Back in the day. Um, but these are all my wood ones. They have their own thing. It looks and all the acrylic are on their own display together. There you go. When I have them up here. Otherwise they're in my bags. Yeah. Oh. I'm so yeah, well, you travel. I don't leave the house. So yeah, I know. I'm like <laughs> the, the the bag Robin made me for Christmas, which I do love. It fits a lot in it. I can fit the whole big skein of the um the Lion Brand yarn in here, the mandala. Oh, nice. Good. It fits well. Oh, the and big one really out too. Yeah, the big those the with cake. room. Uh-huh. 
So she made these nice. Yeah. Yeah. They're nice. They're a great Christmas present. Yes. Thank you, Robin. Oh. Um, Aunt Shell asked if you have a whole set of wooden crochet hooks you got a few years back. Do you have a whole set of crochet hooks that are wooden? I, I did buy a whole set a long time ago. Um, I think when Amazon first started, I got a set, but they were just the thinner ones that looked like the metal ones we used to use. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because I have a I have like those ones in like knitting needles, the wooden knitting needles, like bamboo and knitting. I have them in my box. My, <laughs> my oh, in your Twix, yes. Twix box. I think it was Ashley got me candy one time, and they were in these metal Twix boxes. Oh yeah, like the nice tins. Yeah, the tins. I couldn't think of that. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what I used to keep all my needle needles in, but they're too short for the furls. I mean, for the um, for those these ones, mm -hmm. the uh, ag ergonomic. We have what they called ergonomic or ergonomic. Ergonomic. Or ergonomic. Yes. Ergonomic. Yes. Yeah, these are um, really long because I was. What was I? What did I try to fit them in? Was it something I three D printed, and I was showing you? Oh yes, the box. Oh. The the gold bar. Oh, oh yeah, the gold bar boxes. Where are my gold bar boxes? Huh, they're in here somewhere. They're in a box in here. I because I had them, I had them on our uh, dog's thingy in the living room, and I cleaned that off during spring break. I got in a cleaning thing where I dusted everything. It's so dusty here. Oh, so oh, that, gosh, yeah. within a week, like we have, we're trying to use end dust right now to see if it'll help prevent it. But you're supposed to, but dusty. Who knows? Yeah. 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 Thankfully, this room doesn't seem to get dusty, but I think like the living room does because we come in the front door, we come in through the garage and the back door, things blow in more. Yeah, probably. This room stays okay though, because it's kind of its own closed environment. <laughs> Don't really open the windows much. Uh, We're having weird weather here. We got up to 65 last week and I just got an announcement from Amazon. It was cooler today. We're supposed to get snow tomorrow. Mm. yeah it was, it's been warm the past few days here too but now it was, um, it's so windy out there right now yeah well Shelly said they got snow yeah she said it's snowing there right now yeah, yeah it's so dropped it down up our way Into but all our trees are getting buds on them <laughs> yeah, our, our plants are growing except for the one that rusty ate our plants are growing really well he dug <laughs> up our raspberry bush in the night last night or in the night Thursday night, when Dave took him out, at one point in time, he dug it up and ate half of it. <laughs> he Hello, Marisa. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Okay. So, anyway. All right. We have a, you have food, I have food, and I have my bark box. Right. Do you want to do the bark box first? Sure. And so then... I can give Rusty his <laughs> new toys to destroy. Yeah. And, and are you guys earthquake? Yeah, you're shaking. <laughs> So, um, Rusty is a chewer. Um, so I get the super chewer bark box, but there are things in here that are not. Well, super I get, chew. yeah, because I get the squeaky, bo right. squeaky balls. Right. Every month, squeaky balls. Right. These are bark hair balls. They're hairs. They're little bunnies. They have ears on them. Oh, cute for hair balls. Cute. So I pay $5 a month for three squeaky balls. He'll eat those ears off in no time. And they smell like vanilla and rubber. Um, <laughs> all right. So, oh, I got, oh, I, I got new treats this month that he hasn't gotten before. But okay. So his toys, his super chewer toys, he doesn't get anything that has rubber on it um, because rubber gets ripped off, off part right away. So this month is botanical themed kind of. So this is an asparagus. You got a hard, chewy asparagus. Okay. Um, it says this one smells like what? Bacon. I don't smell bacon. Maybe, maybe it's smell. wet with its smell. It smells or kind of smoky, maybe. It smells yeah, better. Than a little me. asparagus. Uh, so Christiana said Rusty earned his bark box this time. Yeah, he did. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this one is a pork chomp. <laughs> pork chomp. Um, and it is scented like pork chops. Oh, good. I swear something in here smells like vanilla. I mean, the balls aren't supposed to be scented, I don't think. But it smells like vanilla in here. Hmm. This month. 
<laughs> okay, and then they usually include a random treat. He got lucky duckies this time. Soft baked dog treats. That's just like a sample size they usually get. Um, and he got fruity booties soft bakes with mixed berries. That's oh. one of his full size treats. And say, oh, they're cute. They're or not they're cute. I'm sorry. They're um <laughs> They're dark, but like they have a hole in the back. You can see them. I never noticed that before. Oh, okay. And then you got Moo Moo Jerky Bars beef recipe. Mm. The last jerky he got was salmon flavored. It took a really? long time for me to give him those treats because I hate the smell of fish. Yeah. So that took a long time. Oh, this is part of, okay. This is part of their new line of ridiculous, ridiculously nutritious treats. Oh. You can buy these at Target, apparently, it says. Oh, okay. I've seen bark box stuff at our tractor supply. No, no. Oh. Um, bully make. Bully make is at our tractor supply, which is another dog thing. Right. I've seen some of the bully make toys. They're supposed to be indestructible too. But this is can you hear the squeak at all? Uh-huh. I heard it. You get they're each and they're each a different sound. Now those I didn't hear at all. You didn't and hear the oh. almost hear them? One is really high. There, I heard that one. That's well, that one's higher than that one. And that's a lower pitch. Each has a slightly different pitch to it. Oh, okay. To so sound like sound like a different dying bird when he squeaks them. Um <laughs> train him to kill those birds. No. <laughs> dude, I yeah, I don't know what he would do if he saw a bird, honestly. He was really interested in the cats at Tractor Supply the other day. They were not interested in him, but he was interested in them. Oh. Someone what? was doing adoptions and she's like, I do have some that like dogs, but these ones are not the ones. I'm like, okay. <laughs> uh, we, our bush out here, right out front of this window, mm -hmm. uh, must have a nest in it mm -hmm. because Coco has been talking to it. And they do that little, she does the, her. She chirps. We, Doesn't yeah. she chirp? Yes, I got it. <laughs> yes, and her little bottom goes, and I'm going. I couldn't see them, <laughs> but she knew they were there. So, Hachi is do that too. Been out of the house, so. Oh, yeah, but she still knows what they are. Oh yes. Oh, um, Shana said she heard the first and maybe the last, but nothing in between on the balls. Yeah, um, yeah, I heard the one. The middle one was the highest pitch one, too. And so Jill says noise canceling microphone, which makes sense. Yes. So the higher right. pitched one would be canceled out the most. Yes. 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 So, but. All yeah. right. Do you want to talk about what you bought today? Yes. We decided to do some food from different countries. Well, I went to the Asian store thinking I was getting all. Japan, Japanese and yeah, Asian. And yet I ended up getting some stuff from Turkey. And what I did is I put on the back of it what, what country it's from because of the print is so little. Mm -hmm. And I got a couple from Turkey, one from uh, South Korea, a couple, a couple from Thailand. Mm -hmm. And then one from, uh, I didn't know this. Hello, pandas. Yes. United States. That's right on here. Made in California. That one is made in California, but the country originated, I want to say, in, Ch in Japan. M M Miji America Incorporated. York, Pennsylvania. Made in the USA. That one. And the other one was from California. Huh? They both came from different oh. places. Sorry. Anyway, yeah. Checking. I got strawberry and chocolate. I love, I love Hello Panda. It's, my it's one of my favorite things ever. I love Hello Panda. The chocolate's yeah. my favorite. I remember, you used to be able to get them in the big. Remember we used to get the big thing? You can sometimes still. Yeah. And then this is the one that's where you go. Yeah. Oh, no. This is the one that's from Thailand. I'd never heard of it before. It's called oh, yeah. Lottie's Koala March. And it's got uh, mango. Yeah. So, They're very similar to Hello Panda, but sometimes they have different flavors in them. Oh, okay. But it'll have the flavor in the inside of it, too. Yeah, exactly. A great big thing reminds me of a, not a ding dong like a ding dong the swirly ones ho 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 but it's huge it's a huge ho ho oh we're gonna taste these things and see 
How many did you get? I only have two. Oh, the stickers. And mine are American, but they're still new oh, flavors. The new flavors mm -hmm. for Easter. <laughs> no, not for Easter. I brought in scissors. Because... So do you want to taste yours first? Well, I will taste one. Okay. Then you can taste one. This is called, these are called two day. Both of these are from Turkey. And they're both two days, but one looks like a ho-ho and the other's a... Oh, okay. that looks, looks like, like a toffee bar almost. Yeah. And it's uh, what are those called, a score bar? Rich cream. Oh. It almost reminds me of a big Kit Kat. Except, hmm. I mean, it looks like it has cookie in it. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. Hmm. Oh, it is dark chocolate. Hmm. Okay. I don't mean to yawn. Hmm. It is like a Kit Kat. Oh, yeah, like a wafer in there, like a wafer cookie. But it's all chocolate. Hmm. That's a thumbs up. <laughs> oh, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, your turn. <laughs> okay. Well, mine are both Snickers bars. So one of them is a new flavor. Well, this is a new flavor too, but it's a new kind of Snickers bar. So okay. this is Snickers butterscotch scoop, and it's a it's smaller and it looks like it's two pieces. I don't know how new they are. We saw them today for the first time um, okay. or yesterday when we went to Walmart. And then this one is a Snickers high protein bar in peanut butter um, with only four gram with only four grams of sugar, but 20 grams of protein. So for oh. people who are doing high protein diets, um, you know, they, I remember for a while Snickers had the, they had one that was like their energy bar. Oh, okay. I smelled the butter shots the second I opened this. Oh, Okay. Oh, it's so strong, but it has part of the wrapper stuck to it. It's stuck to the butterscotch. Oh. Okay, so this one is, it's actually little squares for the butterscotch one. Oh, cute. Bye. Almost like single servings or something. Mm -hmm. That's not the high protein. That's the... No, it's just the butterscotch regular one. Oh, that's sweet. Ooh. Well, butterscotch is very sweet. Yes, it is. That was your dad's favorite flavor. Of candy. He liked butterscotch. Dave really likes butterscotch too. I do too. Dave likes butterscotch. I, and you, you know, you used to be able to find those little round, um, like lifesavers, but they didn't have the. Like the hard candies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they came in a package like hearts. It was, and they used to have butterscotch, cinnamon, and root beer. And I haven't seen those for years. You can get root beer barrels still. You went through oh, yeah, ones yeah. that you know, um, butterscotch you can still get, and cinnamon you can still get the hard candies, um. But I and I also get butter rum lifesavers. Butter rum, yeah. Butter rum, yeah. Life yeah so they do good. have it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, this um, is a thing. Um. What? Oh, I was gonna say, Steph said she wasn't a huge fan of the butterscotch Snickers. It's good. It's just really sweet. It's very. Like, I could not eat that whole thing in one sitting. Like, a regular Snickers, like, I scarfed that thing. Oh, but really? I, I've never been able to. It's this the only way I much. can. But Snickers, I can't. Okay, <laughs> this is that other, the today roll. Okay. It looks, it's different. Look, it, uh, it doesn't have, it, it's more like a, a cake. Oh, yeah, it's, like a Swiss roll. Huh? Like a Swiss roll. Yeah, it doesn't have a coating of the chocolate on, though, like high hose do or ho hoes do. Mm -hmm, so but like a Swiss roll. You can buy a Swiss roll. Okay. It's the same thing. It's like cake, but with stuff inside. It has like a pudding inside. Oh. It's not, it's, it's okay. It's not real chocolatey. Say, I, we found with the other countries, sometimes they're not as sweet as yeah, American candy. A little drier than we're mm -hmm. used yeah, so that wasn't bad. That'll be a nice breakfast tomorrow. Um, a couple, yeah. That's not too sweet. A couple comments really fast. Um, uh, Freehand Lee Maid says, y'all got chocolate and I'm sitting over here with celery and peanut butter with wheat crackers and it's the natural peanut butter with no sugar. Um, <laughs> she <laughs> likes butterscotch. I do love butterscotch too. Um, yeah. And she, uh, Freehand Lee also said, I'm over here with candy envy. Um, Jill says, I just finished an orange and some grapes. Um, Maribel Lifesavers, yes. And the struggle is real. Just being good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
And Christiana says, I've got a huge container of the Asian version of the pirouette rolled cookies filled with chocolate. Those are so good. Oh, I yeah. Pirouette cookies. Oh, me too. And they had a bunch of the pirouettes, but mm -hmm. I didn't get any of those because I love those. Those I, are so good. Yeah. So do you want to try a second one of yours right now? Because I only have yeah. one. This is a new, this, this I had to get. This mm -hmm. one is from South Korea. And okay. when I touched it, it's, 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 first of all, strawberry. And then when I touched it, mm -hmm, it's like a gummy stuff. So we'll see nice. what they look like. Yeah, I came prepared this time. With scissors? Mm-hmm. <laughs> With scissors. Oh, oh, they kind of remind me of something. What do they remind me of? They've got the white on the one side. Gummy savers they used to have, or we can get strawberry, like the strawberry, like with the peaches, the peach rings. There's also a strawberry thing like that, similar. Yeah. Okay. This is strawberry, but a different kind of strawberry. It's Was it more like, like an actual strawberry and not candy? No, it's more sourish. Oh, okay. I probably would love that. I love sour candy. And of course, I can't read what. Oh, there might be. Maybe it's supposed to be no it's strawberries. Is it pictures of strawberries? Yeah, but I like it. It's not real sweet. You could actually sit and eat a lot of these. Nice. You know, it's not a real, real sweet thing. Oh, and I couldn't resist, you guys. Had to buy one of these. You know, these a were taken. Out, egg? They were taken out of the United States market for a while, for years. This and they, the actual Kinder Eggs are still not in the United States. Yeah, but this is different. This mm -hmm. now ha doesn't have the you didn't they used to have the candy inside the egg? Yeah, no, not now. You can still get those in other countries. Yeah, yeah, we used to get them in Canada. Yeah, and the the toy is just it looks like a little uh, house, it's a little thing you can put together on these ones. It's a little yeah, house, it's not the same. And then it's peanut. It's um, you scoop it and eat it. Mm -hmm. And it's peanut butter and what's that other thing that's in Nutella? Hazelnut? Hazelnut. Oh my gosh, I would like that one. Yeah. Uh, I don't like the flavors of some of the ones they have out now. But the peanut butter, you can really smell the peanut butter. And like you know, you're not a, a real peanut butter person. I'm not going to try it. I don't like peanut butter that well. You bought it. You have I, to eat it. Although I like Nutella. Okay. We'll mix the peanut butter, but Nutella is hazelnut. Mm -hmm. And Nutella is good. Ooh, the the hazelnut part. It's softer, is probably hard. Oh, it's harder. And, uh huh. And the peanut butter is softer. I would just take a scoop, including both of them. Is that what you did? Do you really taste the peanut butter? No. Do you really taste the hazelnut? It doesn't taste like peanut butter. Oh. Is it like super sweet or no? Not sweet at all. Hmm. I don't know what it tastes like. Hmm. Weird. But it's not, I could eat this. Yeah. It's not real, real bad. Okay. Well, speaking of peanut butter, why don't I do my sticker as high protein peanut butter now? Yeah, let's do that. Um, I don't eat as much candy as I used to either. Like I just am not as much a candy person. My new favorite snack is tortilla chips without salsa. I don't know why, but I love those right now. They're probably not good for me either, but. I'm not the Cheetos. What did you call them? Barbecue? Oh, the Cheetos? barbecue Cheetos. Yeah. They're, it's an Asian. <laughs> so it's they only in, them in Japan. Oh, okay. Only in Japan. Where'd you taste and them? What? I bought them. I got them from, there was a Japanese uh, or an Asian food shipping place i used to get stuff from when we lived in um idaho and oh. i do not remember what that company was i can't find it anymore because <laughs> i found another one and they're like seven dollars a bag for like the snack size bags oh like, no thank you well i'll look we have two i only went to the one but there's a smaller one that's only up the street from that one but i only went to the big one that used went in where hancock was mm -hmm. yeah where we went before yeah, that one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, here. Lori says she's eating Nerds jelly beans and Jolly Ranchers jelly beans. I have a bag of the Nerds jelly beans I've been working my way through. Yeah. I like those too. And the Cadbury mini eggs. 
They're not like the Cadbury cream eggs. They're the little mini ones. They're kind of like M&Ms with mm -hmm. chocolate inside. Those are so good. I haven't got any of the one. Oh, I know. Aren't they? No, I, I like the be the ones that have the most. You like Robin's eggs. Robin's eggs. Okay. Dave likes those ones. So he'll buy a bag of those when I buy the Cadbury ones. Yeah, and I haven't seen those yet. Oh, they're out at our Walmart. They've been out for like a month. You know, I haven't been in Walmart in over a month. I don't. I know. When's the last time you were out of your house? Yes, the day today I drove through and and mailed a, a mailed something. <laughs> then I turned around and came, oh, and then I went to the Asian market. There you go. I did go out. This is not as sweet as a normal Snickers. Oh, that's good. Well, probably because it doesn't. Ha it has more protein. Protein mm -hmm. peanut butter, right? It's very dry. Um, two hundred fifty calories per bar. That's what I was looking at. Well, how the much is the other? One. This has 10 grams of fat. The pie protein has four grams of fat. Right? Didn't that say four grams of fat? No, four total sugars. Um, This has 200 calories in these two small pieces. Okay. But um, size-wise, this other one is bigger and denser. Like, this is the size of a little one compared to the big one. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, for being not, for being a bigger bar, I mean, 50 more calories makes sense, but it's not bad. It's just not as sweet. Okay. Um, Maribel says she's eating Ritz toasted chips, sweet habanero flavor. I've never had that one. No, I've, and I've heard of them. I've had their sour cream and onion. It's pretty good. The Ritz toasted chips, sour cream and onion. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of which ones I, I've had. I like just the regular Ritz too, but oh, yes. I don't know if I've tried any of those. I have tried now the wheat thins comes in different flavors. Mm -hmm. I think the best, the tomato, the dried tomato is pretty good. Oh yeah. Sun dried tomato. Yes. Yes. Mm. So this is another one. Oh, another gummy one. It's going to have juice in the inside. It's going to freak you out. This is from Turkey. It looks good. Um, what what are those those ones that you used to like that your friend used to bring you back from? I do. Okay. The girl that her and her husband were there buying these. Mm -hmm. and she said they're kind of like high chew, except they have they're soft like high chew, but they have something in the middle. And yeah, this, it looks like it's got like a jelly or something. Yeah. And it says it has soft candy with sour cherry oh oh sour cherry so we'll you see. know other countries sometimes their sour is more sour than our sour you know mm -hmm. we learned that member yeah yeah for you guys that are new with us when we were first doing this i was in snack crate and you were in universal yums universal yums and we used to try those but we lived closer together. Amber lived in Idaho and we used to do these together. Okay, here we go. It's kind of a off. I thought it would be a darker color, but. It kind of looks like a high chew. Is it really sour? No? Okay. It, it tastes like, oh yeah, it is a little sour. It's getting in the back of my throat. It doesn't taste like sour cherry. Taste. It tastes more like high cherries. That's the sourness. The bean cherries yeah. is mm -hmm. It's all right. It's all right. right. That one away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, but now I'm getting a weird now taste. Now you're getting the sour, aren't you? I, it, no, it's a weird taste. Hmm. Oh. Jill says she misses my faces mm -hmm. from the, when we tried the foods. I turn that away. <laughs> so you're not going to keep that one? I don't think so. Oh, <laughs> weird. I might send these to you and you can try them. Okay. <laughs> it was. So. I'll try anything once. I don't know if I like the mango either. This is from Thailand. Mm-hmm. Because I've, I've never really had, I've never bought mango, the fruit itself. Oh, it's, really? Never. Oh, well, we never we got it when I was growing up. We didn't have it in Montana at all. I and don't like fresh mango, but we would get sweet and dry mangoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mango and papaya. Those two. 
I tried never... papaya in Mexico for the first time. Actual papaya. Didn't love it. Yeah. I... Do you help opening the bag? I need the scissors. Scissors to the rescue. <laughs> but they are sealed well. And you're right. They did have other flavors. But they were like chocolate and strawberry. And I thought, let's try something different. Um, oh, cute. The Hello Panda does caramel ones, too. Those ones are really good. Oh, I haven't seen those. They have a little person on it. Mm-hmm. Koala bear. Yes. Mom doesn't like the mango. I can see it in your face, Mom. You wear your heart on your sleeve. You don't like the mango, do you? No. It's kind of, <laughs> I don't know. I, it reminds me of something else. I tell you, when I ate fresh papaya, it reminded me of the smell of B.O. So oh. I don't know. If well, you know, onions. That's why I've never liked fresh onions. They remind me of the smell of B.O. It always has since I was a kid. Mm -hmm. I don't mind if you cook them or fry them with, with mm -hmm. liquor or, but, but just, yeah. So, okay, let's find, let's try the good stuff. Okay. The good stuff, the strawberry and the chocolate. Uh-huh. Yeah, those strawberry ones are really good. How do you open these little buggers? Just squeeze the top and it will pop up. October of 1924. 2024. I'm still living in the 19, 1800, 20th century. Oh, they're the same little packaging. Mm -hmm. All right. We know these are a winner. Then I'll show you what else I bought. The little pen. Oh, Oops. that's not the camera. Up. There you yeah. go. <laughs> yep, you got it. I could eat these forever. Mm-hmm. They're so good. And then the chocolate. And then I'll show you what else I just I saw it and I just had to buy it. Too. You impulse bought. <laughs> like we all do. Mm -hmm. mm, this is a little, little drier than I thought they would, than I remember. I think they're technically biscuits. Is your, is your son home? Yes, but I heard something outside. That sounds sound like, like a, a door. Sound like a bear. Oh, I heard. Oh, well, now these are, these are round now. Didn't they used to be a little bit more like a bear or something? Uh, yeah. Not the Hello Pandas. But the koala bear ones have always been kind of a different shape. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I love Hello Pandas. I could snack on those all day long, too. Mm -hmm. Make okay. me sick. This is what I bought that I had to have. You guys is it a water bottle? Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> so it's kind of eastery. <laughs> hey, are you going to drink it? Yes. Like I, actually, it's a good thing I opened it before because I went to drink it. And I went to suck it, and it went poof, because there's a seal inside, which is smart. This is a blueberry, oh, blueberry flavored drink, and it's a light blueberry, but it's good. It's for kids. These were dollar oh, yeah. and a half for a little bottle like this, but it's cute. Oh, yeah. Maybe I'll keep you it. Know, it's not based in America. I mean, it's not. No, I don't. It's no oh, California cash refund, so it must come from California. Oh, product of Korea. Okay. But yeah, but you don't get what well, it is for kids. Yeah, they don't need as much. No, I mean, you don't get as much when you suck it out. Oh, well, that's probably good, though, too. <laughs> this is my pineapple with a squirt of vanilla and a squirt of cotton candy. What do you I think? I remember last night about. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, because it's a little bit sweeter because of the vanilla and the cotton candy. I actually have, in this one, I uh -huh. have the tangerine orange Skittles um, with... Vanilla and cotton candy. It tastes like an orange dreamsicle. And then I have Coke in this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why yeah, do I, have I put my Coke in the fridge. Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> when we when I, I made us lunch, I made us grilled cheese sandwiches. And I was like, I want soda, but I don't want to waste my cans of soda because I take those to school. So we've been buying oh. two liters um, like for the weekends. We've been buying two <laughs> liters because then we could just 
fill this and this lasts all day long in here. I don't have to refill it later. That's enough. You hearing something out there? No. Do you hear that? No. It was flashed thunder. We're getting thunder. Oh, That's I saw your cat pop from. her head up next to you and look around. She took off. Yeah. There well, she's she, at the door. She's looking out the door. She yeah. Goes, can you see her over there? I can. I didn't hear the thunder, but I saw her she, pop her head up. Yeah, she's scared to death of thunder. But it it's flies okay. right, right out here. And then Coco. that thunder. It's okay, Coco. Poor baby. I'm so scared. <laughs> so maybe you guys will get rain instead of snow. Yeah, she Poor is. Poor scared Coco. Can you see her looking out? She's so big. <laughs> she's getting so big. Oh, she is. She's a good Not as girl. big as my dog, but she's big. She's good girl. She's so easy. She doesn't like it, but she's so easy to clip her claws. Mm -hmm. she, she's looking around, but she just leaves her hand there, and I clip them. And well, Katya yeah. and Molly, I mean, I didn't have any issues clipping both of them. When we first got Katya, it was a two-person thing. But by yeah, the time that. Summer, yeah. I mean, I could just do it. I would just sit them on my lap and do it. I mean, yeah. I'm not used to having an animal who doesn't just let me do it. Right, right. <laughs> Well, Pearls in her old age has gotten, she doesn't bite at me or anything, but she will make her little, a little growling noise when mm -hmm. I clip. So she says, mom, you've cut me so many times that I don't trust you anymore. Poor animals. Mm -hmm. oh, man. But anyway. Oh, oh, and I did want to show something. I did purchase a different kind of yarn this week. I think I told Amber. Oh, yeah. I purchased i'm gonna and i'm not even gonna i'm gonna make some of these up but i probably won't even put them on until maybe july or august because it i bought i'm gonna make some um it's bulk, bulky some bulky and this is uh you get 137 yards for 100 grams well, so. when you put it up like that i can't hear you it was oh. blocking the microphone i'm sorry it's 137 really yards okay. uh, for 100 grams so it's a fairly good five. It's a says it's a five. Okay. She's like she's walking around like a a, a prowling cat. You know, <laughs> yeah, her, like, she's real low to the ground. She's been <laughs> thing here. This is a, boy. If um, it if it thundered again, she's right here. She'd probably take she'd off. Break out. Chris yep. John said they had people setting off fireworks, and it didn't occur that you'd get lightning and thunder. Why oh, are people setting off fireworks in lightning? March. You counting? I heard it. It's right there. It did. It, it's thundering. She. Oops. There she goes. Did it thunder right with it, or was it after? Did you about count? two seconds, three seconds? It's getting close. Yeah. I, I think it might be going. I think because that other lightning was right. Remember, right there. Mm -hmm. And it lit up the whole in front of me. You know, I'm right in that bedroom with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're facing the window. Yeah, so my yeah. window's closed. I'm facing the window too, but it's closed. I have my blinds closed. Yeah, I could close mine too. I didn't to show you guys up. when I we got in. This was my view, by the way. <laughs> I'm like, how'd you get that view? I have I when I take my tests uh -huh. classes, they have to watch us, and the camera has to be set up so they can see our computer screen, our computer, um keyboard and all of our like us from here up so oh, I, have, I, have a, I have a camera right over here uh -huh. and it's still set up because i took a test last week but i'm like i sat down i was like why is it on that camera but the company that does our testing uses zoom so my zoom was set to that camera because that's what i had on right I'm like, why are you doing that i don't understand what's going on three and a half seconds <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know we were supposed to get thunder and lightning today. I said we're supposed to get snow tomorrow, but for all week, it's supposed to be bad. Jill, it is Poltergeist. She says she remembers the counting from a movie, a scary movie. Which one is it? It's from Poltergeist. It's is the it little boy. Movie? He's counting the, the flashes to see if the storm is going away right before the tree try, tries to eat him. <laughs> Do you yeah, remember the Poltergeist from the 80s, Mom? Yes, but I don't they remember that part. They Isn't described they him. They built the house on the graveyards, on the yes. old graveyards. I remember that yes. part. I remember the TV. <laughs> and the ghosts are trying to distract them when they take Carol Ann 
when the th the storm happens and the tree tries to eat her brother. Like that's <laughs> that's what you remember of it. Well, <laughs> I remember the whole movie, but yes, well, I didn't <laughs> watch it, but I started watching it again. Yeah, what? the X Files. I started watching Think the X Files. I like the X Files. I keep trying to start watching it again with him. It's not his favorite. I'm in uh, season two toward the end. I didn't realize they took her so so fast in the season. Well, but she, she got pregnant. Pregnant, yeah. And then she had another child later on in the season. She got pregnant again. Mm -hmm. so, but they were better at covering it at that point in time. Yeah, they, they did. To, they didn't have to abduct her that time. No, no. But, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. They were so young. We started <laughs> watching... A new, well, a newer comedy. I think they just got approved for a second season or they started filming the second season called Not Dead Yet. It's about a girl who, she writes obituaries. Oh. And she starts seeing the people she's writing the obituaries about. They come to her as ghosts. Kind of oh. like, you know, True Calling. Remember True Calling? Yeah, I remember but, that. But it's not like the day before, but like they come to her as ghosts and they help her through things. Well, um, is that the... Is True Calling the one where she worked in the morgue? Yes, and she would touch What's her name? What's her name from 902, Beverly Hills 90210, the kid, the boy, the guy? What's his name? One of the twins. He was in it with her. He was the... I don't remember which guys were. I only remember the girl that was Oh, you don't remember. Yeah. Show. Okay, anyway. Yes. Um. Yeah. So anyway, it's, it's, it's actually, we've watched about five episodes, and Dave is actually enjoying it, because the main cast oh. is mostly women, which... Yeah, we don't that's mean, girl. Yeah. Well, I mean, girl comedies aren't always as funny for guys. Oh, it's funny. It's a funny show. It's funny, but it's also got drama. I cried at the end of an episode last night. Wow. <laughs> like it. Yeah, it was good. I mean, it's good. And the girl that's in it, the main girl in it was Jane the Virgin. Two seconds this time. It's coming this way, I guess. You watched Jane the Virgin and liked it, right? Oh, three times I've watched it. Hey, Jane the Virgin is the main girl in this. Oh, she, is she? I like her. And then, did you ever watch New Girl? Yes. I mean, I saw... Her I best friend. Her best friend, the Indian... Uh, she was Indian. Um, I can't think of her character name. She's in, She was the model. Oh, okay. She's in this, too. She's one of the main girls. And then um, someone from Superstore is in it. Um, who who does the True Crime and Cocktails podcast, Lauren Ash. Oh, she did it, too? Yeah, she's in it. She's, oh. She looks very. She looks very different than she did in Superstore. She has lot. She has slimmed down, and she's blonde, and she plays a completely different character than she did in Superstore. Oh, okay. She's very preppy in this, like because Superstore. I mean, Dina was her own thing, but in this, she's yeah. very. Preppy. It's really good. Um, she said, uh, Christiana said Jeremy or Jason London was he in that with her Liza Dushku in uh, True Comedy? Comedy? Maybe, and maybe br him Brandon. The kid is that his name? He was Brandon Jason on Beverly Hills. Jason Priestley. Yes, yes, and he might have only been in it in a couple ones. I think okay. he was. He, yeah, he was like a, I don't know, like the devil or something. I know they only had it on for like one year, maybe two. Yeah, I don't think it was ever picked up. I don't remember no. being on. Yeah, I watched um, the Quantum Leap, mm -hmm. but there's only two seasons of it, and I, I don't know if they picked it up or not. If it's going to have another season. Because it just kind of left you hanging. I don't know. Um, Really quickly. Okay. Roxy is on and says, hi, cousins. How are you both doing? And she hi. said, oh, you remind me so much of grandma. Who, me? Yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm part of her. <laughs> I'm like, it was a second ago. I'm like, I didn't see her. Um, <laughs> Nikki, and really on too. Like Nikki looks more like grandma than I do. I look more like my dad, but then, you know. He died young, so we don't know how how he would have looked when he got really old. Because yeah, he still had black hair when he got in his 60s. He oh, died in his 60s. Right here. He's here. Yeah, like me. <laughs> I just like me. Like me. When I wear my hair down. I'm like, mine is right here. He can see it, too. Oh, yeah. More mixed in with me. Yeah, I pulled mine. When I pulled mine back, see, it goes straight across. I look like the girl, Josie and the Pussycats. That girl <laughs> from her. Who was it? Not oh, what was her friend's name? I can't remember her name, but I know exactly yeah. who you're talking about. Josie the Pussycat. Yeah. yeah, it really wasn't her friend. She was the well, main. Well, yeah, girl. <laughs> she and her brother were in the car in the cartoon. I remember yes. she and her brother. They were jerks, and she had a cat. Yes, 
<laughs> in Josie and the Pussycats in outer space. They were all we, we, had the, we had the cartoons on tape. <laughs> oh, you had a lot of cartoons on tape. You had that and you had... Well, because we owned a video store. That's right. That's right. I had access to that and Unico. I mean, that's what I watched all the time. No, Unico, that was fun. And oh. That was different. So different. I love Unico. Um, yeah. Jill shared our shops on here. Um, thank you for sharing our shops, Jill. And she wants to know anything new in your shop, Donna. Mm. I've been doing lots and lots and lots of minis this week. Um, I'm always surprised that how many people buy the mystery minis, but um, I've also done a what I call a basic set with the black, blue. It's got black, navy, gray, um, spruce, and brown in it. Just okay. the basic set. If you're making socks, they're the darker colors. And I made that. I also do 10 grams now, you guys. So I have 10 grams, the 20 grams, and then the 20 grams worsted, if you like worsted. And I have them in the fluorescence. I have rainbows. I have Easter's. But this week I worked on, I was running out of minis. <laughs> I was running out of mystery minis. So I, I, I worked on making new colors for those. So that's what I was working on mostly this last week. And the week before, um, oh, I was doing our clubs. Um, my, oh yeah, my, my spring club. Now I have the summer club up if any of you guys, but it's it's up for two more months. So, but don't forget, we only have a week left for the dragons and the yarn club for this month. Um, uh, so if you're not if you're new to this station, you might not be um familiar with that. Do you have a dragon next to Let you? Me one, find of one of our previous ones. Hold on. Anyway, every month Amber makes the dragon. And then she ships them to me and I make a color way to match. So last month it was the Lucky Dragon. And I actually, I have that one. I have a couple others I can show too. Okay. And they're just, class, every please. dragon is different. So this was the Lucky Dragon. And it's got that, the four leaf clover or shamrock on it. Mm -hmm. so, so there's that one. Was the greens. With the greens. The month before was the Valentine's Dragon right. or the Heart it's Dragon. It had um, little hearts all over it. And it had the moving tail. It's hard to show on the on the, the, in the middle the of it. Heart moves back and forth and it can flip over. And then I want to say this was actually the month before's. The butterfly dragon. I think that was January. Yeah, that might have been no. Or December. January was snowflake, wasn't it? Or was that December? That might have been December's. We had but, the yeah. real long dragon for February. January was a snowflake. Hold on. I have things everywhere in this room. I'm trying to remember. But one of them was really long. She did a long, thin one. It was. I don't know where I have it. Right okay. now. Okay. That's I all right. Honestly. Oh, actually, I do know where it is. It's in here. Can you find it? I mean, it'd probably be faster for me to walk out to my living room and grab oh, them all. I found December's. Okay. This was December's. Yeah, this is a snowflake. Exactly. That was December's. And I think January's was the... Or Maybe November. that was that one you just showed. Yeah. yeah. We had one with um, limbs. November, was that the limbs? Um, the forest one? But anyway, we've done it about eight months now, you guys. So, and it's always a different dragon, always different colors. I didn't realize it had been that long. So I'm just looking around my room. I've moved things. started on. in August. So August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. Yeah, we're going into the ninth month. Yeah. So we've had running out of ideas. But yeah, this was a tricolor <laughs> element too that looks different colors. You just froze, mama. Okay, now you're moving again. You're good. Was I frozen too? You were you frozen. frozen. Side. Uh, <laughs> you're frozen you're the one who freezes because uh, it's based on my that. internet <laughs> okay um jill says every month you get a dragon and yarn based on the colors of that dragon and the listing is in donna's shop yes it's in it's shop yet. but i do do the dragons and i do the dragons, do the dragons. Yeah. um yeah. and this month's is pretty yeah yeah i have experiments going right now with filament colors because I have a couple options. 
So I'm printing a couple of them so I can see which one I like the best. Yeah, she has that option. <clears throat> I do. And she can sell the rest of the, the county fair. I mean, <laughs> at, at the, the fairs I'm doing. Uh -huh. So I have, I've only, and I've only done a couple that I did multicolor. The rest are all just the filament that does the color change. Like this one was multicolor, the printed in with multicolors with the eyes. I think I've only done three. That one, back, please? This one was, but this one was done different because I did it by layers. Mm -hmm. And I can't remember the other one I did that way. Did I do another one that way? I, I did. Yes, I have pictures of it in my phone. I can't remember which one it was, though, because I saw it when I was looking at some stuff. This is the year of the dragon. So, yes, hopefully they will sell. Um, yeah. I mean, they honestly, my dragons do sell well. When in person, people like them. Well, yeah, because they're pretty sturdy. And uh, I know Joe got one for one of her grandsons. And or two, didn't she? She bought one for each of them. She got dinosaurs. Oh, dinosaurs. Okay. Oh, but this was yeah. the really long one. Yeah, that long one. I that was just a couple months ago. That was the sea dragon. I think that was November. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, we've done so many that <laughs> I know. I'm like trying to. Yeah, I can't find any other different colored ones in here. I try to take pictures of them, but I don't always remember to take pictures of them. Just like you and, and your yarn. You don't always take pictures of the mystery yarn. <laughs> on my site, you guys, when you go into the Dragons and Dungeons to buy it, I have pictures of like five or six of the different ones. So you will get to see them there. Let's see if I uh, can. Jill them. said she gave them her dragons. Oh, okay. Okay. Nice. Do you take previous pictures and oh, put them on there? Here's one. Yes. That was our, one of our first ones. Do you remember that one? That was the first one. That was the crystal dragon. Then we did this one. Hold it up higher and to your left. Oh, sorry. there you go. That, that was one. the red and gold one. Yep. Huh? Then this one. I you think that one was multicolored, wasn't it? I did. I painted that yeah. one. Oh, yeah. This is, long long time to make. this is the moon. The one with yes. the oh yes, the lunar dragon. The lunar dragon, yes. And then this one was the snowflake with the the yarn. Come on, where are you? Oh, and then this one was did you show the that one? Which one is that one? You that was the spark or the Yeah. Is that the heart one? No, no. This one is, um, the butterfly. This is the butterfly. Oh, that's uh, the butterfly one. One at the bottom. Yes, this one. is the butterfly one. Yes. That I did with uh red, blue, green filament. And then this was last month's. Yep. Was the thing. So you guys can see, I, 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 I'm not too bad at matching them, getting the colors to match. No, no, they're you're pretty good. I think this one's gonna be good. I'm not going to give anything away, but okay. I think people will like this one. I don't even know you guys, usually until the very end, until she decides, and then she sends me a picture before she sends them to me. But well, last I'm week... using a new kind of filament, mm -hmm. which it's matte. I'm going to tell you it's a matte filament, which um, the last time I tried to use a matte filament was one that I got at your store, your cheap store, the one that I got that was green. NPS? Yeah. NPS, and I couldn't get it to print. So I was really concerned, but when I was looking for the color combination that I was looking for, uh -huh. I didn't find it in regular PLA. I can only find it in matte PLA. So, but so far, I'm, I'm doing my test run right now. They're printing okay, but okay. I'm doing two different sets because I have two different spools of filament that I'm trying to decide which one is the one because okay. one may look closer to an, an old one. I don't want to look like an old one. Okay. Okay, good. <laughs> Without giving anything <laughs> away. Yeah. And it, well, I'd be coy. I don't want to give anything away. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> so you can sign up for that until the 31st of the month, till Easter. And then I ship out on Just the 10th. A week from tomorrow. Yeah. And I ship out on the 10th. I have to wait for Amber to get me her things. Mm -hmm. so, and then in my summer club this time, I gave everybody a little spider, a little magnet spider. And if you want to know what to do with those, I've got mine on my um, lampshades. They look so neat on the mm -hmm. lampshades. 
So her little spiders. Or you can use it for a cover minder by getting another magnet yeah. behind it. But I send both magnets. Mine oh, have you can both? Magnets. Okay. Yeah. Because to go on the lampshade, you have to have the front and back. You can use it as a needle minder in your bag too. Yeah. Like a sew, like you can use sewing needles to um to sew in your ends for when you're doing crocheting. You can just stick right. that in there and they'd be attached to that all the time. Yeah, yeah. They're, and they're, I, Amber told me the ones to get and they are very strong. Magnets. They are very strong. <laughs> they were hard to pull apart. Mama and didn't I, raise no fool. When I fed them on, I didn't put them on the microwave when I was letting, you know, I had them all out. I had them on the, uh, the my oven, what do you call them? My fry, the, my fry oven or whatever it's called. What's it called? Your microwave oven? No, my fryer oven that I got instead oh. of my, instead of getting my stove fixed, I got that oven. Is it an air fryer? Yeah, the air fryer oven. Okay. It's got bake on it and everything. Anyway, I had them on the side and they kind of slid closer together. Oh. <laughs> the magnets are so strong. They're very strong. Yeah. So, um, but, well, that's how I, what, they're the ones that I use are... I dropped something. I heard it. I dropped a box of these. Um, but I like the strong ones because when I make my trash can cover minders, uh -huh. I put one inside and then the outside one will still stick without the other magnet being that's on the real, That's side. not the one I got. That's flatter and a flatter magnet. And the ones I got for you are I gave, gave you are a square magnet. Because no, I got them mine are round. Up. Mine oh. are round. They're round, but not that round. They're I got a ten by side. twenty. Yeah, I remember I you, and I, yeah, I got the smaller because yeah. we were putting them on the body of the spider. So, yeah, watch you get move. Yeah, um, I don't believe they're earth magnets, Annie, or crafty Annie. Um, I just I think they're neodilith neodilithium neodilium or something like that. I think is what they call them. Sorry, I have a bucket full of trash cans that need magnets on them. That's what I knocked over. Oh, is that what you knocked over? Okay. Um, Jill asked if you have any minis to show, Mama. Oh, well, there's mystery minis. Oh, but I can not show you the, yeah, the blacks. I was trying to find where you sent me the, the thing of the magnet. The link? Oh, Right. These are my colored minis. Okay. So these are the, the basics. Oh, those and are screws and all that in. That's basics. These are the fluorescent. Those are very pretty. You get seven fluorescent colors. And these are my autumn ones. They're the and these are in Worcester that I'm showing you right now. Okay. Those are very pretty. And my touch of colors. These are my favorite. I really like them. They just have a little color on. And they've got five basic colors. Yellows and reds. I think yellow, red, blue, and purple and orange or something. But they've got, each one has like one. The first one has red and orange. The second one has orange and yellow. Then yellow and green. Then all the way okay. through. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. And then, let's see. Oh, and then. Um, oh, they are rare earth magnets. Oh, um, they are? I clipped them up. It says they're super strong neodymium disc rare earth magnets. So this is what they look like on Amazon. But they're really good magnets. They are. Okay, so that's some of my minis. But those, what you just saw, I also have in 10 grams and 20 grams. And you have them in worsted and fingering weight, right? Worsted are the 20 grams, and then fingering weight is in the 10s and the 20 grams. Okay. And then I have a bunch of mystery minis. Uh, Christiana said the fluorescents remind her of a collection of highlighters. Uh, yes. Yes. You look like highlighters. They're really bright. They do. So. And when you get mystery minis from me, you just get a you never know what you're going to get. Yeah, like a handful, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're all colors. These are the ones I made today. All different colors. So you never know what you get. Mm -hmm. But they're all different. I have 25 different new colors. 
Wow. Yeah, they're pretty. If you like greens. I tried to stay away from so much blue because y'all know, if you know me, blue. If you go to my shop, I've got a lot of stuff with blue in it. It just, uh, it's we, the we both like color blue. I tend to gravitate toward. This mm -hmm. is, is pretty. There was one in here that I just loved. Let me see if I can find it. This one has greens and turquoises and but see, aren't they fun? When people use these to make funny socks. They make uh, scrappy blankets. Um, mm -hmm. towel. So they use them as toes and heels in socks. Yep, in socks. Um, shawls. Shawls, yeah. So they're just fun. They're just something fun. But their minis are one of my best sellers. Mm -hmm. People like minis. And I... I think they know they can come to me and get minis because I keep minis. You do. In stock. And a lot of shops don't carry minis at all. So. Mm -hmm. Well, so they're, they're a little more work unless if you don't buy the already made minis. Right. When you have to do them. These, I, these I strung myself. Yep. All the ones you just shot. So, yeah, I mm -hmm. did them myself. So, yeah, I do have the others, but the others cost a little more to make, too. Because, mm -hmm. like you know, they pay for them a little more money for them than, than the, whatever. But I will never be making bulky minis, you guys. Can you imagine? You'd only have, like, five yards. <laughs> if it only has 137 yards. Yeah, but if you made, like, yards. bulky socks, it would be enough for a toe, maybe. I don't know. You'd get 13 yards because you get 137 in 100. So in 10 grams, you'd get 13 yards. Versus 13. now... Well, it, 13 yards is almost 40 feet. Well, 13 yards in worse did you get 44 yards mm -hmm. in the 10 gram. Or wait, because I don't sell 10 gram, I sell 20. So I guess in a 20 gram here, you'd get 27 yards. Which yeah. is still like 75 feet. Yeah, I guess. That's, I mean, that's still, I mean, that's not bad. We'll, we'll see, we'll see how well the bulk sells. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. Yeah, because bulky, I always think, when I think of bulky, I think of maybe a cowl. Yeah, but a, I mean, you could make like house socks with it. I guess so. I thought about, and in the middle of the night, the other night, I was in there and I thought, I need to grab some of my worst I didn't make them because I don't make socks, but mm -hmm. I think I could crochet some socks with worsted. I'm sure so, you could find videos too. Yeah, they have slippers. Yeah, that's how I learned to make these. I mm -hmm. never thought I'd I'd be able to make a stitch like that. You know, I'd see him and go, you know, but thank goodness for YouTube because I have learned so many stitches and how to crochet so much stuff in the last five years than I had my entire life. I mean, I knew how to do a single, double, triple, you know, and a half, but none of these fancy stitches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I know. think my fan first fancy stitch thing I made was that shawl, the virus shawl. Mm -hmm. And that really wasn't fancy stitches. That was still just doubles and, and singles. It was just how you put them on. Right. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, and then, yeah. Yeah. And you and I made that shawl, that first shawl we ever made that I it was just doubles. Mm -hmm. And um, slip stitches or um, chains. Yeah. Okay. Doubles chains. chains. Doubles and chains. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I've learned a lot because of YouTube. And, you know, when we were growing up, even uh, Joe knows we didn't have YouTube. We didn't have, you had to. We didn't it. have YouTube growing up. No, you didn't either. We had to know I how to. I had the library. Mm -hmm. I remember checking out pattern books from the library, even in the early 2000s. To yeah, learn and I, I could never, I was not good with not reading. Pattern follower. Yeah, I like people to show me how to do it. You know. Sorry, I made you know. I mean, I was a warranty. A warranty manager or warranty clerk and that we had the books but i liked someone could come in and show me how to do something and then i knew how to do it i just yeah so yeah i was lucky um, uh huh i was just gonna say really i was just gonna go back for a second uh jill says you could do a pickle jar kind of thing for what we talked about donna um Christiana said the blues and purples are always done really well, though, the ones in your shop. And there are some really good videos on crochet stocks or crochet socks. Sorry. Yeah. Um, 
Fiber Floozy says, I started with leisure arts or leisure arts. And Christiana said, VHS tapes from the library. Yes. <laughs> Remember when you used to be able to go to the library and get VHS tapes? <laughs> um, in Blackfoot, we would, we found out our library had DVDs. We would, we would rent DVDs from our, yeah. or not rent, but we would borrow DVDs from the Blackfoot library to watch. I would, I oh, I know we have DVD. Uh, CDs on tape, books on tape at our library, but I don't know about actual DVDs, but they probably do. Our library, Amber, you and they add it on again. It's huge. Where those great big Christmas trees used to be, they cut them all down and they all, yeah. Wow. I mean, I love the library, but also those trees have been there forever. They have, and every Christmas, I've been, I always wondered how they got the lights up. That's how tall they were. Probably forty yeah. feet or more tall. They probably but, used a um a lift. Yeah, probably. Probably. I just yeah. Yeah, before you guys know, it'll be Christmas again. Mm -hmm. It's already almost May. Well, it's almost April, but after once next April gets, once kids get out of school, the summer goes so fast, and then September's here, and it's Christmas season. So. Mm -hmm. Time is going to fly. I, I have to tell my students that we just started the last quarter of the school year this week. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, it's going to go by fast, guys. We need, you guys need to work. Like, don't stop working. Like, that's our mantra for the end of the year. Don't stop working. Keep working. Like, like I know you guys are done. We're all done. But we still have work to do. Right. <laughs> what should I tell you? Um, I got asked to help with the school play. No. They're doing Willy Wonka on the Chocolate Factory. Really? Um, yes. And actually, the director, Mrs. Detler, is in my ward. So she knows I can sing. So she asked me to be a vocal coach. Oh, nice. So I'm helping with vocals with the kids. I mean, I've done so many shows, too. I know what works on stage and what doesn't, you know. For right, people right. So I've been working with the kids. This week is my first week. She asked me on Monday. And so I've gone every day this week to help them after school for like, it's until five. I'm like, that's so fun. Yeah, you guys that don't know this, Amber started college on a scholarship for musical theater. She had a scholarship for three years. So, yeah. And now most people don't know I can sing. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I was showing my student, like I was trying to explain some things to the kids. And I'm like, you want to do this? And I started singing something. And they're like, whoa. And I'm like, you guys, I've been singing since I was like four. I'm like, and I I, I was trained. I just don't do it very often. Nope, nope. But... At her kindergarten graduation, she sang The Greatest Love, Love of All. All by Whitney Houston. She stood up on a chair and she sang the whole song. And they, I actually sang it at an assembly for the entire school, too, like three days before that. Yeah, yeah. So five years old. <laughs> you would never know that I was a shy child, would you? No, no. But yeah. But the, performing is different. I'm an outgoing person, but you would never get me on a stage. Mm -hmm. Nope. I mean, that's what I told my students. Like, they're all like they're they're self conscious, and I'm like, you guys, when you're on stage, you're not you. If someone laughs, they're laughing at your character. They're not laughing at you. So who cares if they laugh? You know what? That's not you at that moment. That's not whoever that person is. Like, I struggle giving a talk in church. Um, I'm singing in church tomorrow in our Easter program in a trio, and I'm really nervous about that because that's me singing, not right. my character singing. Right. I'm like on stage, that's. All bets are off when I'm on stage. It's a different, I'm a different person out there. In the theater, I'm a different person. Right. And I'm, I'm, I think these students think I'm crazy because they just, a lot of them just met me this week and they're like, who is this chick? Right. <laughs> I'm like, let me give you some suggestions. You don't have to take them. And they're like, all right, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, you don't know me from Eve right now. I'm like, we'll get to know each other. We'll get comfortable. <laughs> but yeah. Right. Like, I don't think, I, at first I was like, how does she know what she's talking about? You know, like that, you know, it's the prove to me, you know what you're talking about. But then I started working with one of, with our Willy Wonka. And he's like, yeah, I can definitely feel a difference by doing the things you suggested. I'm like, who'd have thought? I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Not just a math teacher. That's right. <laughs> hmm. yeah. Anyway. So it's about. It's 840. We've been on almost two hours. Yeah. Well, thank two you. Weeks all from today for is April 6th, too. 
and for staying with us, everybody that did. I don't, I, like I said, I don't see the comments. So, or who's you out there. Quite a lot of activity tonight. I appreciate all of you. And we, those of you who subscribed while we've been filming, thank you to our new subscribers. Yes. Thank you so much. Cause we're, there's been a few. We're getting there. We're thank getting you. Yep. We're going to get there. Eventually. Thank you, Jill, for all you do. Yes. So. Um, Jill, I'm going to be sending you something, by the way. I haven't sent it yet. I think I told you oh, I sent yep. her. Yes, you showed it. I haven't it sent it yet. <laughs> so you're going to be getting a box for me or a random box. Um, <laughs> so it'll have stuff on it. You'll see. Um, so thank you guys for joining us and for all your comments. And it's been fun. And let's see. Reminder, um, we're not going to see you before our club closes. So next Sunday is the last day. Easter Sunday is the last day for our Dragon and Yarn Club. Your other clubs, mom? Yeah, it is. Uh, you have to sign up by, I think it's the end of April. So you have a while, at least another month, because I send those out, I think, May 15th. So, yeah. So okay. anyway. The but, day after my anniversary. I didn't know what that was. <laughs> uh, thank you, Christiana. She says, yeah, thank you for all she you said, this is a wonderful place to be subscribed to. Thank you. Thank you. We love you. Random dorks sometimes, but we have fun. Right. We, yeah, <laughs> we started out. I mean, I we're still hand dyer, dyers. We mm -hmm. started out, this was, was just dyeing. We just showed our dyed stuff and stuff. And then, then we kind of branched out because we're mm -hmm. not just dyers. We do other crafts. I mean, tonight we didn't have any, but we do a diamond art too. If you guys like diamond art, we usually have that. But yeah. neither of us has diamond painted in the past two weeks. <laughs> maybe this coming week we'll get to it. Uh, so, we'll see if we have maybe. time. Okay. Next week I'm going to have a four-day weekend. So maybe I'll do some. That's right. We do. Yes. So yes, maybe so. the time we come back. Well, everybody have a nice Easter if you celebrate Easter. If not, just have a nice spring break. If you still have it. We've already had you've already had your spring break. Yes. I think they're just having it here now. Okay. Oh, last yeah. week. Everyone has different times on it. Some people have it around Easter too. Yeah, um, we, but we have off Good Friday and Easter Monday next weekend. So that's our last break until Memorial Day. Oh, eight weeks baby. straight. Eight weeks straight with no break. We've had a break at least once a month since school started. So it's going to be oh, a baby. I worked this full time job and we never got breaks. We got one day at Christmas and one day. <laughs> but you didn't work with 14 year olds. No, true. Old. That's true. Hey, Oh, I have to dog sit for a minute. I yeah. guess. They need to do something. So, it's my yeah, dog. Anyway, anyway, That's nasty, you guys with the broken paw. <laughs> he's not okay. Broken. He's not limping or anything. He's good. His tail curls. His tail curl. Yeah, it's that, the poodle. Poodles don't have curly tails. They can. Great. They can. No, it's the poodle. That's the poodle in him. Well, huskies, I, huskies have a curly tail. Um, or what's what I'm thinking of? Um. Hey, did you see Bark Trappers is offering a free DNA test for your dog? Yeah, only for new subscribers. Oh, uh, okay. Let's see, come here. Did Dave leave you alone, huh? Did Dave leave you with me, huh? Yes. He's like, where did my Dave go? Where did my Dave go? <laughs> so, okay, well, we're seeing you guys all in a couple weeks. Yep. And we hope you all come back and we hope you liked us and give us a thumbs up if you want to. Yep. And comment and subscribe and yeah, comment after. We don't get a lot of comments after because we're live. But the so if you're watching after, the rewatch, comment. Make sure to comment. And oh. Amber answers all the questions. I try to, yeah. I, I'm usually pretty good about it. What about I, that? Yeah. yeah. So anyway, because right. she's more smarter on the questions. She teaches 14 year olds, you know. <laughs> I do. 15 year olds, and 16 year olds, and 17 year olds, and 18 year olds. I, I, got 18 year olds too. I do have some seniors in my student development class. Oh, okay. And okay. Anyway, you guys, we'll see you all in a couple of weeks. Yep. And you all have a good whatever. We're having snow. <laughs> yes. And we'll see you next time. Okay. Bye now. Bye, guys. <laughs>